Welcome everyone to another version of the Iron Horse Pulling Team. Uh, this time I thought I'd give a little in-depth on exactly what a planetary rear end is on these two-wheel drive pulling trucks. Um, this is all new to me also, so I've been learning. Uh, I've taken these all apart. Um, we've changed out the gearing. Uh, there's the old set of gears there. Uh, they do these rear ends just like they do on the pulling tractors. They needle cross the rear ends. Uh, or the the shafts inside the rear ends but one thing they don't do is they don't put the brass washers in the sides because they will one wheel too easy um, so we've ran in some issues with this rear end and just kind of give you a little explanation i know the pullers will listen to this and say, well we knew all that but these videos are more informational for people that are that uh, don't quite understand what all goes into these so um, so basically what this is this is a rear end out of a out of a, a large semi um, it's usually the back one. Um, the After some modifications to the end, what they do is they go to find these planetary outboards. Uh, they're usually on anywhere from uh, like logging equipment to fertilizer equipment. Um, and the reason they do that is it reduces the gear ratio again in the rear end, plus it adds a lot of strength to the rear end. Uh, so they'll be able to take 2,500, 2,000 horsepower. A regular truck rear end uh, would not take that type of abuse, so they would go with this planetary. And so they weld uh, they weld their shafts on those, and then they you end up you can kind of see in here I got one all apart. So you end up here with a planetary style outboard here. Um, pretty common in all super stock, unlimited super stock, two wheel drive pickups, modifieds. They all run this type of rear end. Um, on the two wheel drive pulling trucks, most of the things they use is PR seventy fives. These here are actually 85s, so it makes it real difficult to mount the rims, and you gotta have the rims just right in there with the certain bolts to get everything to tighten up. And then of course, out, outboard brakes uh, that are custom made. Um, so and then we'll go over here to the project we've been working on here. So, so to kind of give you an idea, these rear ends come, these gears here, let me pull one up here. Them gears here right on these shafts inside here. So what happens, these are stock, these are the stock brass gears. You can see they're just, they're just galled and burnt to daylights. Um, they just do not take the abuse of the pulling vehicles. So what the solution is, is so we have these steel shafts made, and then you can see these roller bearings here. So these roller bearings now will actually go inside there, and then the gears will ride on the roller bearings. That should call that should keep the galding effect off of them and free them up. And uh, now the only thing is you need to make sure you clean these really good with emery cloth so they don't chew up these bearings. So I hope that explains the how a planetary rear end works on these pulling vehicles. I hope everybody have a great day. I had some little time off here from work. We broke some tillage equipment last night and are waiting on parts and had the day off planned take off anyway so i thought i'd come out and work on this stuff for a little bit so uh everybody have a great day and hope to have a good summer we'll be seeing you shortly